So here I am in Pattaya. Well, so over the years, Pattaya has grown from a sleepy fishing village into one of the most popular tourist destinations in Thailand. So I'm on my way to meet someone now who knows everything about Pattaya. He studies the history and everything. So. Um, Let's go over there and find out a little bit more about Pattaya. So here I am with um, a man in the know. It's Phil, uh, Mr. Egg, aka Mr. Egg from Leepub Pattaya. Pattaya, should Pattaya. I say? Pattaya. Hello, Brian. Hello, Phil. How are you doing? I'm all right, thank oh, you. Good, good. And have, you, have you brought your shovel? Are you going to bury me? Oh, no, no. I think I, I probably overreacted in that one a little bit. <laughs> Scary stuff. Scary okay, stuff. Okay, so uh, obviously Patea used to be a small, relaxed fishing village with not many tourists about a long time ago. So um, what was it that turned it into one of the most popular tourist destinations in Thailand? Well, I wasn't around at the time, but it's quite clear from reading about it that the, Viet the Vietnam War was a huge event for this part of the world because a lot of the uh, service personnel from a lot of the different countries, not just America, uh, came on R&R, &R, relaxation and recreation here in Pattaya because for two reasons. First of all, it was a nice sandy beach. And secondly, uh, very close to Bangkok, of course. And secondly, because a lot of the ships used to come into uh, Lam Chabang and also Satahi. And also a lot of the big airplanes, there was a big air base at what is now Utapau International Airport, about 20, 25 miles away uh, in Rayong province. So the best place to come for a bit of a night out and to let their hair down was Pattaya. So that's how it became so popular. It's the oldest bar or pub that's still around, if you know, in Pattaya. Well, if it's Go Go Bar, it's obviously TQ, which is uh, short for Tahitian Queen. If you look on YouTube at any of the old videos of Pattaya, whether it's from the 1990s, the 1980s, even some from the late 1970s, where people have had old Cinema 8, uh, Super 8 video uh, film and transferred it to video, put it on YouTube, and they go down Beach Road, you will always see it. It is Tahitian Queen. The, the sign hasn't changed. Uh, it's gone through lots of different uh, management uh, and ownership over the years. Uh, quite recently, uh, it was looking like it might have been closing down during COVID, uh, but it didn't. And I, a lot of people were quite surprised at that. I knew that it wouldn't change because it's got such a, a very, very loyal customer base that it would never, ever close. So, yeah, I think the answer to that might be Tahitian Queen. Well, well you're, a, you're a man That's of fantastic, knowledge, um, Phil. Well, thank you for answering all my questions. Put your spade away. You're not going to bury me, are you? I won't bury you yet. Just yet. Just yet. Since, for that. Since, you were, since you were able to answer all the questions, I'll, uh, I'll let you off on that one. <laughs> so thank you very much for your time, Phil. No problem. And uh, if you're ever in Pattaya, when you visit here, make sure you bob in and see Phil at Lee Pub on Soy Diamond, is it? 
you are only right, Brian, on Soy Diamond, just down from the windmill. So in Patia, you've got this uh, lovely beach here with all the boats and the water sports. You can go jet skiing. You can go parasailing. There's loads of them out there. They take you out there into the middle of the ocean on a boat and uh, you can go parasailing, but uh, lots of lots of water sports here. And um, you're easily located from wherever you stay in. All the hotels are on these roads, going off all the way down to Walking Street in the distance there, near, not far from the Pattaya sign. So, uh, and you can get boats over to the islands out there in the distance from here. So there, there are lots of activities and if you don't want to do that, if you don't want to jet ski or parasailing or visit the islands, you can come here, relax on the beach and have some traditional Thai seafood, maybe a beer. <laughs> so another great thing about Pattaya is the, the transportation. It's so easy to get around. You know, these Song Tao's 10 baht buses go all the way down the beach road here, all the way down to um, Walking Street, and then they turn around and go down the, the next road along. So you can basically do the complete circle. So on the Bart buses, so the transportation here in um, Pattaya is uh, excellent. Oh, look at that, you've got fantastic beer gardens too. Really big beer gardens like this with fantastic views over the ocean. And Pattaya there in the distance, there's the Hilton Hotel over there, but absolutely fantastic views. So uh, best of both worlds, this, that's where the difference is with um, Bangkok. Is Bangkok, you only get um, the skyscraper view <laughs> when you get to uh, the top of one and a lot of smog. Where um, here, you've got, there's the Pattaya sign over there. Absolutely fantastic views, and so you can sit down and have a drink, something to eat. So you most certainly won't go hungry whilst in Pattaya, because there is an abundance of food. I mean, you have all international cuisines here. You've got Indians, Australians, Americans, British, French. You've got everything, Mexican restaurants, the lot. And uh, you've also got the local uh, Thai delicacies. The street food is fantastic. So there's that much food here in Pattaya. The competition is big, so they're all fighting over prices. So you can get very reasonable deals, um, quite low cost compared to other parts of Thailand. So another great thing about Pattaya is the shopping malls. <laughs> Yeah, this is Central Festival, just on the beach road. But uh, there's lots of great shopping um, here. You've got the aircon. So when it's nice and hot outside, you can come in the shopping malls and get some nice air and go and do some shopping. And they also have some uh, fantastic restaurants in here. So uh, you can get all your food. You, know, you, could, you could spend a good few hours just wandering around the stalls in it, it's really big. You know, there's like about five or six floors. And, you know, you, you got a cinema, you know, you've got all your entertainment stuff um, within within these. You've got a food court, so you can get your inexpensive uh, Thai food and everything. But uh, like I said, you've got your restaurants, so you know, that do set menus. There's always lots of offer. The good thing about Patia is there's plenty of choice, you know, so the competition is rife so they're all competing for price so there, there are many deals to be had take my glasses off while i'm indoors well, another great thing about um, Pattaya uh, are the hotels so here you've got the uh, hilton so you've got your five star hotels you've also got your budget hotels so uh, i was looking on the agoda earlier and there were hotels starting from 300 baht Yo, know, uh, maybe a little bit out of the town, but uh, not too difficult to get in. Um, I'm staying at a place just near the beach road here for 500 baht a night. So, um, or you can stay in the Hilton here and pay 8,000 baht a night. So if you're um, going to stay long term here, condominiums, 
are um, absolutely fantastic here in Patia. You know, and to suit all price levels as well, you've got the super deluxe um, to the basic. So, but there, it's just like Bangkok, you know, there, um, there's always an oversupply of um, apartments and condominiums here. So you can always get long-term rentals for um, not that much cost. So one of my friends rents a condominium here, a serviced condominium for um, 7,000 baht a month he pays, which uh, they come in and clean every couple of days. And he loves it. He's got a swimming pool. Um, it's a beautiful place. So, um, I mean, you'll struggle to get those prices in Bangkok, really. And so on the outskirts of Bangkok, you can, but definitely not in the center. So the healthcare in and here in Thailand um, is excellent. You know, the, the hospitals are plentiful. You know, many private hospitals and public hospitals, but um, you will need private health insurance. I know that's a new thing if you're coming from the UK, <laughs> but um, it really is wise to get yourself a health cover plan. You know, it's um, they're quite reasonable out there. They're not too bad, but I pay um, about 20,000 baht a year. Yes, yeah, 20,000 a year. My obviously children um, cost more. You know, my daughter's is 30,000 a year, but... Um, you know, it covers you for everything. So if you do have an accident or unfortunately end up in hospital for some reason, you're, um, you're, you're covered and you will get excellent health uh, service here. You know, it's um, a lot of people fly here for the good quality health care so, um, and the low cost as well, especially for things like dental treatment as well. Thailand is um, very big for people traveling here to... Uh, have dental treatment, treatment, it's inexpensive compared to most places um, around the world. So here is the world famous walking street here in Pattaya. So um, this place really comes to life at night. During the day there's not much happening, you know there's uh, delivery vans and things like that but uh, at night it comes to life uh, similar to Bangkok here in a way, the busy streets there, but as you'll see, the, um, there are nightclubs and there are bars, there are restaurants, you know, there are uh, every, everything, lots of souvenirs, I mean, all the stalls set up in the evening too, you've got thousands of people walking up and down here. So here I am at one of the highest points in Pattaya you can walk up to with fantastic views there's the Pattaya sign just down there wow it's fantastic and there you can see the whole city okay so here I am with um, Carl from Carl's Thailand who uh, currently stays in Pattaya so um, Carl hello welcome good morning so um, what do you like so much about Pattaya? What 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 is it about Pattaya? I that think you? now after so many years, I've got just got lots of friends here. You know what I mean? Uh, it's an easy place for a foreigner to live. You can just, you just got everything at hand now. You know you've got supermarkets. You know so you can just go to Central and you you know you can even get sort of just the you know the strangest stuff that you miss from home. Just. Yeah, it's a good social centre. It's, it's just a good social hub now. I, I love the tyre. Okay, great. And you're an adventurer. You like the mountain climbing yeah, and yeah. things like that. So um, are you able to do those things here in Pattaya? Is, uh, can you exercise good here? Well, yeah, you can come up here. You know, you can come up by the Pattaya sign and, and, and up by the monument. So, yeah, yeah, there's options. They've got running tracks and everything up on the hill. It's good, you know, Pattaya can actually be a healthy place to live if you've got the self-discipline. <laughs> but it does take the self-discipline, you know, because there's just so many temptations everywhere you, ah, great. you look. Yeah. You know, there's always a reason to go out and have a few beers. And But if you can sort of discipline yourself, you know, they've got a great selection of gyms and come walking up here. 
yeah i love it you know and i think i at the moment i am living a pretty disciplined lifestyle apart okay. from last night okay that's great carl so um thanks for letting me interview you and asking no a few questions so we'll uh enjoy this coffee yeah over the beautiful views of patio there oh it's intensely hot though isn't it, it is so thank you for watching this video if you liked it please like and um subscribe so until the next time it's baldy brian checking out from pattaya in thailand